Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 10 by 20 inch pre-primed black canvas. Use my medium paint. I have a fairly simple idea. Instead of shoveling colors on or doing anything really odd, I'm just going to make some strange marks. That's my Anita's White Metallic. This is my Decor at Americana 24 karat gold. I think I'm going to wait for a minute. This is my Purple Flash from Folk Art. And I've got Amsterdam Black with Aussie Floatrol. But I must tell you that if I didn't have the Aussie Floatrol, I would definitely not hesitate to use my other recipe, which is the American Floatrol with pre stain Minwax pre-stained wood conditioner in it. So I'm just filling in where the colors talk to me and I will be using this little tool which worked really well for me yesterday even though it's looking a little beat up I'll have to make another one soon. And there is a video on how to make these tools if you can't find them just ask me I'd be happy to help you. That was the electric <laughs> That was the electric blue from Arteza. This is the Venetian blue. Iridescent from Modern Masters. I'm gonna have, it's going to be hard to choose where to swipe through. I don't want to swipe through everything. And I haven't overlaid anything over anything else yet, and I still may do that. This is my Hot Orchid which definitely needs some white because it definitely has been drying darker for me recently especially on a black canvas I thought about gold. Do I want gold or do I want silver? Maybe I want silver. I think I'm going to go with silver. <laughs> Cross a few lines. No harm, no foul. Do I like that as much? Hmm. What else do I want? Do I want a little bit of red? I'm going to use a little bit of orange. Yep. Not unhappy with that. Doesn't have to be a lot. Still want gold. Is that crazy? You know what I'm going to use instead right now is the cobalt blue metallic, which is really a turquoise from Artist Loft. Just putting down dots and dabs. That's okay. I still have some golden hour. Arteza. I tried to use fewer colors. I thought, I'll use fewer colors next time. Yeah, that worked really well. Can't you tell? I think I'm good for right now. If I want gold, I've got some iridescent gold from, from Golden. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of the cell activator into a dish. not going to use as much of that this time. Thinking I can come back. I have more paint on there than I than I used. Let's try a little Since it's a dry canvas, it's sort of an unknown quantity.
think I would like it to go all the way down, but I'm not positive. Well, I've gone through way more. of the paint than I expected. Sorry, I'm like hesitating. Not sure about those little, those little tendrils. or even how this tool is working for me. I'm not actually used to it, but I'm still kind of really liking what I'm getting. But it is making me want to try a different tool. And I have smaller ones. My favorite one is, of course, in the bucket. Just give me a second and I'll wipe that off. This is my smallest oval. Let's make sure it's dry. nice. The small ones are nice because you can pick up paint on the edge. That's really nice. Okay, I think I'm going to start wiping off my edge. On my edge. That's cool. So far so good. I didn't do it. <laughs> Let me take a finger full of that and do it anyway. Anytime I get a little extra paint, I can use it to draw with. What kind of creature is it? You gotta go a little bit slow if you're gonna pull those tendrils out. Let the paint relax. Go where it wants. If I had an even smaller one, and I think I do, I might go back in here and twirl some things around. I just use the one I'm using. Because the shapes are neat. The little black things look like eyes though. <laughs> That's a little creepy. It's okay. I like creepy cool stuff. I got a creepy cool uh, Pinterest board. So anytime I can't finish the mark that I start the way I want. I'm going to just steal paint from anywhere else. Take a moment. Be cautious. A little cautious. Looks like an octopus's party as opposed to a garden. Usually I get these shapes just from dribbling. I'm really cautious about my Australian Floetrol. because I would like, it's kind of precious. <laughs> There's no kind of about it actually, it's very precious. But like I said in the beginning, you should try, if you can't afford the Australian Floetrol, you should definitely pick up some Minwax Pre-Stain Wood Conditioner. I recommend it very much. It works very nicely to create cells, especially if you're just swiping, as opposed to trying to do full on blooms. 
I like the white in there. I like stealing a little bit of paint from someplace else. It might be an acquired skill for sure, but it's really kind of neat. Even if it looks like creepy critters. <laughs> what do I do when I get to the end and I've completely run out of paint to steal? That's a good question. Let's put our spare right over the edge. I want to go back to the original tool. I've gone further up in the top than I anticipated going, but I'm not really actually minding doing that either. Sorry, I'm blocking the blocking the view a little bit. I put some of this right on the end. Yep, not ha not minding that at all. Got to be careful on the dry canvas or you get stuck. holding too many tools. I really expected to save some of those colors, but I'm not actually mining all that much that I haven't. It's sort of crying out for dots to me. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? Once dotty, always dotty. When it starts to dry and it looks more like a smear on the paint than it does actual color, it usually makes me want to fix something. And in this case, I'll just fake out a tendril. Sorry, I'm a little quiet because I'm focused. The thing about 20 minute videos is you're lucky if you can make one because uh, usually good art takes longer. It's hard to tell if this is going to be good art. But so far I'm not minding it much. I am going to use a little more Amsterdam cell activator. Try not to get to go too fast and lose my momentum. It's kind of a strange one for sure.
I have a little more cell activator left. There, I am pretty darn close to being done. Maybe a little tiny bit more. We'll knock that, those colors off on the edge first. There. I'm not sure what it looks like from your way. Oh, it looks good. It could definitely be turned both ways. I know. I can hear you, Sally, in the audience. <laughs> Put some spirals in there, Priscilla. Sally purchased one of my one of these that was a dribble. A dribble piece and I think it was Jester's Jingle Stick. It was a really, 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 really nice painting. Sally has excellent taste. Yep, just going through, stealing whatever I want, wherever I want to. Just picking it up with my little tool. Because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link. Try not to go down to canvas. I've got two minutes to say thank you very much for all of the uh, compliments and comments that keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate that. Like you wouldn't believe. Thank you also for all the donations that help keep me painting. If you want to be included in the monthly drawing and you make a donation through PayPal or Patreon, that will happen. I will send you a confirmation email. If you don't see one after you make a donation, please contact me. My email address is below, is directly directly is directly below the link tree, which is the first blue link underneath the video. I should torch. This has a right way up and a wrong way up. <laughs> Although I'm not sure if I'm the one to decide that for whoever might decide that they love this enough to purchase it. Purchases are appreciated. They're not insignificant. They help support the studio better than any anything else. My collectors appreciate that I maintain a price structure. I have a formula that's respected. Doesn't mean I sell a lot, but what I do sell has maintains its integrity and value. So before I put any dots on there. I'm just going to call it good. I'm not saying there won't be some, because it could happen. But dots being dots, they could come in tomorrow pretty easily without a problem. Or I could just do it now. <laughs> uh, I need a couple dots. I thought I could resist, but I can't. Now it's nice that the canvas is dry because these will done right. All right, so I told you guys I love you. I told you the link tree is the first blue link under the video. On it are Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group student group on Facebook, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, totes and more, shoppingpixels.com, Fine Art America, also found on the link tree. My link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my web page, my Legalaris clothing made in Montreal with that's investment quality with beautiful dresses and kimono tops and more. My paint pouring recipe is underneath, show more under the video, uh, right below my email address. If you give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it when you share my videos. You help me out when you watch longer. It's a huge assistance also. My books are on the Amazon link on the link tree because I can and unlimited possibilities. I am going to try and remember, which I have not remembered a couple times recently, is to zoom.